How's it going guys? I know it's been a while since my last post. Uh, I've had a lot of things going on in life, as, uh, as I've had to say before in recent months. Um, but I'm trying to ease my way back into carving and, uh, and making in general. And um, I'll just cut right to the chase. I recently saw a post by Adam Hawker, who is well known in spoon carving circles. Um, and he was showing his method for how he maintains his knives. Not sharpening necessarily, but, but just, uh, just strapping them. Um, I'm used to the school of thought of uh, a hardwood paddle with quality leather, you know, glued to the top and strapping with some kind of compound on that. But Adam's, uh, Adam's take on it is just to take a piece of MDF and to put Tormac paste on it in a thin layer and he straps just on that and he seems to get really good results. I was really interested in this so I decided to give it a try. I bought a, uh, a sheet of MDF and I cut it up into several paddles. And I figured it, that if it worked out, I would um, possibly offer that to, to people in my Etsy shop. And I was very pleased with the results. Um, there's, there's no micro convection of the edge as is present with thicker leathers and low quality leathers and improper technique. Um, but yeah, so I thought I would put together an entire kit, um, like, a low, like a low budget strap, you know, for people that don't wanna spend $100 on a strap or uh, or more sometimes. I have uh, I have very good quality leather straps that have cost me more than that. Um, but what I have here is a finished kit and I just figured I would show you guys. It will come with uh, a set of instructions and everything you see here, which is basically uh, Tormac honing paste, which is not cheap, most of you probably know that, a MDF paddle, a wooden dowel, um, also this anti-slip uh, mat that's all rolled up and goes underneath your paddle so it doesn't slip slide on the table and uh, a shop towel just because Tormac paste can tend to get messy. So I figured I would just kind of show you guys um, how this works and I've got a package like this and I found these bags online and I figured they would be really handy because you do not want to get uh, MDF wet and I figured if I was dealing with shipping I know sometimes moisture can be an issue with boxes so I wanted them to get to you guys in good condition and stay that way so you can store them right back in the bag uh, that way you don't get the rest of your kit dirty but basically how it works it's got my business card there how it works is you would apply the Tormac paste to the paddle and you would take this mat right here and just put it down Put that on top of it, that way it doesn't go anywhere on you. It doesn't slip around. Uh, apply a very thin layer of this stuff. You don't want to goop it on there because with the Tormac paste, it's pretty liquidy when you start and you basically have to work it in with your finger until it turns into a kind of like a powdery paste. So you don't want a lot because it'll take you forever to rub all that in. You'll end up wiping a bunch of excess away and such. Um, but then you would just take your knife and ride the bevel one direction and the other direction, making sure to apply even pressure and really register that angle. Moving along, you know, further down the blade, keeping that bevel perfectly flat all the way down. And it's a really simple concept. It'll keep your stuff shaving sharp. Um, and I decided to, since that worked so well, I decided to see if maybe that would work as well with hook knives, and it does. If you apply Tormac paste to this dowel, which is about, I guess, seven inches long, um, and using Matt White's uh, theory on sharpening seems to work really, really well. You basically just load this with compound, put it at the back of your, um, your hook here, and literally just raise your hook up, making sure that this registers um, on both edges, the spine and the, the cutting edge of your hook with every pass. And it'll keep your hook knives nice and sharp too, which you can then take and you know, knock the burr off the outside um, by using the paddle as well. So just a simple system that I've uh, decided to offer. I've got a very, very limited batch. Um, I bought, I spent a lot of money just on Tormac paste. So, um, and the MDF and the dowels and the packaging and the shop rags and everything else. Um, I've got some time and money invested in it, but I figured it would be worth a shot to be able to offer to you guys something that doesn't break the bank and something that you can use in between spoons to make sure that your, your cutting edges on your hook knives and your slowed knives um, stay tip top. Uh, I suppose you could also use this on your axes. Um, probably if you really wanted to, you could use it on chisels or anything like that, anything with a, a long flat bevel. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, I will be offering these in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm going to try to get a listing made today. Uh, there's probably only going to be 10 sets to start with. Um, I've got more supplies if need be, so if I need to make more, I will do that. Um, so you can either go right to my Etsy shop, order them that way, or you can contact me via social media, which is fine as well, either way. Um, we'll work it out, I'll get a kit to you, and I think for anyone in the US, this is gonna be $40 ship, so I think $6 is about what it costs for me to ship this, so the, the actual cost of this will be you know, $34, and then it'll be $6 shipping. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I'm kind of excited to bring these to you guys. I've been hush-hush about it. I haven't mentioned it to anybody really. Um, but I'm excited to see uh, some people try these out and see the results. So um, visit my Etsy shop once I, once I get these, the listings made for these. And um, if you're interested in one of these otherwise, and you're not, you know, you don't have an Etsy account or don't feel like going that way, like I said, just hit me up through Instagram or uh, Facebook Messenger, and we can get it sorted out that way. So thanks for watching, guys.